Hey guys, it's Colton Tack on Sonic Boom 101 here to do more of my walk through of the Dell Dimension 4600 running Windows XP Home Edition. So, yeah, let's just turn on the computer and turn the speakers on too. Okay, the computer's starting up. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Alright, it's starting up right now. It's working good too. Yeah, we know that this is a very old computer, but yeah, you'll get used to it. It's an awesome computer. I'm sure that you'll be able to try to find a Dell Dimension 4600 on eBay, probably. They are expensive, but you'll try to buy them, hopefully. If you get enough money, that is. So, anyway, let's just try to log into my account. Oh, oh, crap. Sorry about that. Taking time for it to log in. Alright, it's logging me in. Whatever it's doing, um sure it'll probably work hopefully. Like this is incredibly slow, but so I am pretty used to this computer whatsoever, because seriously. Who needs, like, old stuff? We've got XP, everybody. Yeah, sure we do. Windows XP with these speakers. This computer right here. Oh. I did not expect the XP startup sound to play like that. <clears throat> so, yeah. Yeah, I know I'm in, I'm in this basement right here. Because, yeah, we already know that I'm in this basement. So, it's really cool, huh? Still, like, like always, it's taking time for me to log in to the computer. Like, I don't even know what's going on. But, however, I can't even understand about <clears throat> how old this computer is. Like, this, co this computer keyboard and mouse, look at that. Even this monitor... And this desktop computer, it's like such an old computer. If you look at the label right here, Windows XP Home Edition, Dell. It's shaking a little bit. And the camera won't even focus for some reason. Okay. Trying to get it to focus. There we go. You see that that's, there's a barcode right here. And there's a product key. It says BXCKB. K H K T T T H X. Wait, it won't focus, dude. Okay. T H X J P seven six two J eight H Y nine H W. Now it's gonna take time for me to to see if this computer can log me in for some reason, cause this pointer with the hourglass is in here. Oh yeah, previously on part ten. Um, I watched the first Microsoft Money tutorial, which was that one about managing your taxes. The second one, I'll be watching this about entering your checks and deposits. So, anyway, yeah. This is an old computer, but... Yeah. Still, however, it's going to take time for me to log into the computer. So, I, Colton Tackett... I have to get to the bathroom before I have to get to the bathroom while I wait. So I'm gonna have to pause the recording so I can go to the bathroom and wash my hands. I'll be right back, viewers. Several minutes later. All right, I'm back, viewers. Uh, sorry if it took a little bit long for me to wait because uh, I was in the bathroom, washing my hands, and I. And <sighs> When I looked in the mirror, I found out that I still had that ulcer in my in the inside of my mouth. And uh, it's still hurting. It's bleeding right now. I'm still hoping I could like, try to use a wipe right now, but not right now because um, I need it to get some rest. So, um, 
So we're gonna go into the my computer application. Oh, so I accidentally like clicked on the control panel thingy. I still can't understand. Like this is gonna take time to open. So hoping it all feel better, but I still got some good advice right now. Gonna have to close it. Oh, crap! Just wanted to close. Okay. I think I've got to get out of here now. There we go. Now we're in the my computer thing. We're going to go to local disk C. And we're going to go to program files. And click on Microsoft Money. This might be a little bit loud, so I'm going to turn it down a bit. That's more like it. Now I'm going to like go to media, AV help. Go to 04 EC. I'm just gonna have to like try to do this through the window first. Now let's go. Here we go. Say, this kind of looks like a checkbook. Here's a register up here. That's the idea. And down here are the forms for withdrawals, deposits, and transfers. So I fill them out like a check or deposit slip. Exactly. There's a tab for each kind of transaction. Let's enter those checks from our shopping trip today, and you'll see how it works. I assume I start by clicking the tab for the kind of transaction I'm entering? Right. We're entering this first check for our new easy chair, so that's a withdrawal. Click New to activate the form. First, you type the check number. Okay. I see that money puts in today's date. Now, pay to. Tasmanian Traders. We got a good deal on this purchase. 153.67. Done. Should I enter anything in this category box? You don't have to, but if we categorize our expenses and income, we'll be able to track where our money goes. I get it. Money summarizes our expenses using these categories. This should give us a better picture of our finances. It should, especially with the reports we can create. This also helps if we do a budget, lifetime plan, or if we need an expense summary for taxes. So I click the arrow, scroll through the list, and click the category I want. This would be household furnishings. As soon as you click enter, you're done, and it's in the register. Money does the subtraction for me. We don't have to worry about math mistakes anymore. Now we're ready for the next one, that bill to the telephone company. Money has a real shortcut here. What's that? See this common withdrawals button? Yeah. Click it and then point to upcoming bills. When we first set up money, we specified our regular bills. Those now appear in this list. Click the phone company on the list. Look, money fills in most of the check information for me. I just have to put in the exact amount. Again, we click enter and it shows up in the register. So once we start using money checks, we can just type in our regular payments like this and then print the checks. What about deposits? We put in that tax refund check yesterday. Click the Deposit tab. In the From field, say where the check came from, that is, the county. Hey, 25 bucks for us. Hmm. How do we categorize this? Oh, Other Income, State and Local Tax Refund. You need to change the date because you made the deposit yesterday. Here's a neat trick. Click this little arrow and then click the date. Cool. I'll say what it was for. Every little bit helps. We have one more check to enter. Yes, my new skis. You know, you can type directly into the check register if you want. How's that? Well, up here, you turn off the checkbook form. Now you can click New or just click in the blank line. Okay, it looks like money fills in the check number and date automatically. So I just type Alpine Ski Center right in here. Hey, look at this. Money made a good guess for the category. Now type the check amount and you're done. So with money, we can keep accurate records of our checking account. And our other accounts, too. We can use this same process to show account activity in our savings, brokerage, and even our credit card accounts.
Then, money can summarize this information to help us track our expenses, organize our taxes, and plan our finances. All right, that's it. All right. All right, that will conclude the second tutorial, which is the enter the checks and deposits. On the next part, we'll be learning about using the lifetime planner. But before we eventually go, I just want to like, ow, dang it, I bumped my head, sorry. Anyway, uh, like I said, we're gonna do something quickly. You know what, actually, yeah, we're just probably gonna go to Windows Movie Maker before we go. Okay, now we are ready to go in and, oh. Yeah, we do have like tasks, but. I'm just gonna try clicking on a song. And yes, we do have all this, so. Yeah, this Good Day Sunshine video. Don't know if it'll play. Well, yeah, I, I guess this would be a good idea, but I don't want to get copyrighted, and I don't, I don't want my video blocked on YouTube worldwide. So, yeah, Just gonna, I'm not gonna click on the clock because that one's gonna be pretty loud. Also have this too. All right. I wonder if I can go into any other account thanks to importance at collections. I might try to do that, like, but it's gonna be very hard. I'm gonna click on my computer. Uh, uh, local disk C, uh, Windows. Don't know if this is gonna work. I'm gonna go into. Yeah, I don't even know if this is gonna work. Like, oh crap! I, sorry about that. Sample music. Uh, I don't even know. I don't even know what the user's thing is, because I need to, like, use it under, like, try to find, like, like, those things from other users. But I don't even know what the heck is going on. Oh, there it is. Wait, access is denied. I guess we can't go in there. Neither this. Or this. Or this. Oh, cancel. I don't really think I can go in here. Like, well, I can go into the all users thing. Shared video, of course. But I still can't even go in. Don't know what plot plan it is, though. And I'm just gonna have to get out of here gonna preview one more thing. Okay, I think that's it. Alright. I'm not really gonna make a movie because I don't have time for that. Anyway, it's time to shut down the computer.
like 15 minutes and the computer needs to shut down now so I have to take care of my ulcer that's inside my mouth so it better shut down so that way I can get ready. One disappear. Okay, the icons in the taskbar disappeared. And yeah, that will conclude part 11 of my walkthrough of this Dell Dimension 4600 running Windows XP Home Edition. Let's turn off the speakers now. And yes, Windows XP is shutting down like always. Yeah, stay tuned for the next part, which is part 12. This is Colton Tackett on Sonic Boom Fan 101 signing off. Thanks for watching. See you next time.